Okay, thank you very much for coming today. I can confirm by way of update to the release that was issued by myself earlier today that at about 2.50 p.m., the Hamilton Police, assisted by the Niagara Regional Police, recovered the body of a male in the harbor here at Leander Boat Club. We also have confirmed that the identity of that male is Raymond Emery, 35 years of age, from Ancaster, Ontario. At this time, we do not believe there to be uh, any suspicious or foul play to this investigation. We do believe that this is a case of misadventure. And uh, we want to thank our partner agencies, the Niagara Regional Police, for assisting us with the investigation. Uh, the investigation will continue as the coroner uh, continues her investigation. There will be a post-mortem conducted tomorrow regarding the cause of death. So at this time, that's the update that we have subject to any further questions. Marty, can you tell us where the body was found? The uh, body was found approximately uh, 70 feet from uh, the point last seen, where Mr. Emery was last seen, uh, near the vessel that he was occupying. Inspector, can you just take us back as people have joined us now? What are the details as you know from last night on the boat in this week? So there's a lot of details that I can't confirm at this point regarding uh, the events leading up to uh, the untimely death of Mr. Emery. Uh, what I can say is that Mr. Emery was uh, taking a swim this morning. Uh, the circumstances surrounding that still are part of the investigation and all those details will uh, remain to be uncovered by our investigators and we're asking anybody with any information around that to certainly contact our detectives uh, but the information that we had at the time was that mr emery had gone for a swim and did not uh, surface after he dove into the water uh, we responded just after 6 uh, a.m assisted by hamilton fire and ems and unfortunately we're not able to, to locate him at that time, we contacted the Niagara Regional Police Dive Unit. They assisted with our investigation. And as I said, at about 2.50 uh, p.m., we were able to locate Mr. Emery's body. Sorry, we're just, we're just running a few minutes no late, uh, far from CBC. Um, I'm wondering if you could just start, sort of start from the beginning. When did the call come in and what, what, when did police sure. find the body? The original call was uh, made to our dispatch center at about just after 6 in the morning, 6.19 to be exact. Uh, 6 to 19 in the morning and we responded with fire and ambulance uh, to check the area of the water because Mr. Emery had not surfaced after diving in. Uh, the circumstances surrounding uh, all the events leading up to him diving in are still part of our investigation. The coroner will be the lead on the investigation and will be assisting. Uh, but at this point I can say that we do not believe there to be any suspicious activity or foul play involved and we do believe this to be a case of misadventure. Where was his body found? Uh, approximately 70 feet from where he was last seen on the vessel okay. uh, in, in the actual harbor. It took some time to, to, to find his body. What, were there some challenges in, in terms of the, the certainly, water? or? Certainly. It's a, it's a lengthy process uh, and ob obviously safety is paramount to our recovery divers. And so uh, that's why we want to thank our, our partner agency, the Niagara Regional Police. Um, we need to take the time that's required to do it safely. And, uh, and that's what the delay was. And when when exactly was his body found out? 2.50 p.m. 2.50 p.m. Yes. Was he out with friends uh, or were there other people who... There were other people involved uh, earlier. We have spoken to some of them and that's still part of the ongoing investigation. And was he? did he jump into the water with other people as well or was he the only one in the Again, water? Again, that's part of the ongoing investigation. Yep. Still looking for any witnesses who may have been in the area? Absolutely. So any anybody that has any information regarding the incident, whether they were in the area or heard or seen anything... Uh, before or since that time, certainly we'd encourage them to come forward and speak to us. What kind of boat was it that um, that they were out on this morning? What kind of boat? I, yeah. I don't have the exact type, but it's a large, uh, a large uh, vessel that has uh, overnight accommodations on it. Yeah. Can we just get your full name and spelling, please? Sure, it's Inspe Inspector Marty Schulenberg. That's S C H U L E N B E R G. M A R T Y. M A R T Y. That's correct. Cool. And was it a boat that belonged to Mr. Emery? No, it was not. Do you know if alcohol was a factor? I can't comment on that at this time. Any idea on the temperature of the water? Was That's that all our information. Any other updates will come through uh, our corporate communicators account. Okay, thank you.